Good morning. Everybody doing all right? Yes, sir. Uh, I know most of you have been here for a while. I love, absolutely love your program. Love your coach back there. That's my dude back there. I love what you guys are all about. Uh, I'm here today to talk a little bit about intangibles. Why? Because I'm old. I'm 41 years old. I've been around the game for a long time, so I've seen a lot of action. I've played the game, and now I've coached it at the high school level and at the college level. One of the things I get to do now, blessing in my life, I get to be a recruiter, and I get to go out and watch a lot of games. I watch games all the time. I watch high school games, JUCO games. I watch games. I've seen a lot of them. And being around, I've noticed that there's a little something that separates the great teams from the average teams. The teams that have a chance to win a championship and the teams that just talk about winning a championship. Because right now, you guys just did this, right? You just worked on ball handling, you worked on passing, you worked on defense, rebounding, all those are skills. They're ingredients to having a great team. If you don't have them, you will not be very good, right? You gotta have that within your team. But now, eventually, there's gonna be Gulliver, this year, is gonna run into somebody, they're gonna get to that point where they really want to win that championship, whatever level it is, and you're going to run into that team that's just like you skill-wise. Here you are, here they are, and you're identical skill-wise. You're right there, dead even. Who's going to win? And for years I've watched all these games, and there's those teams that have that little something extra. It's called chemistry. Everybody say chemistry. Chemistry. It's called energy. Everybody say energy. Energy. It's that little something extra, and it comes from great relationships. It comes from... Caring about each other. That's where it comes from. There's so much power in numbers. Basketball is the greatest game in the world because five guys on the floor have got to share that little basketball, right? I got you, little fella. I know you want to catch. Five guys have to share the ball. If you are on a golf team, go over prep golf team, the number one golfer and the number two golfer could hate each other, despise each other. It doesn't matter because what do they do? Do they have to share clubs? Do they have to, no. One guy goes out, he plays his round, the other guy plays his round. How'd you do? I shot 78, I shot 81. Hey, we won. Good. But we lost. There's no chemistry needed. You with me? The game of basketball, you got to have it. Here's where it comes. Today, you're going to be in a game. Someone's going to miss. A man goes down, he misses a layup. Misses a layup wide open. He's upset, he's frustrated, right? This guy picks up a charge. Other team scores six unanswered points. They're on a run. Adversity is hitting us. It's hitting us. And here's where it comes. It takes one guy. I don't know who the leader is in here, but usually it's the leader, but it doesn't have to be. It takes one guy to come down and go, let's go, baby! Let's get a stop! Come on! Come on! It takes one guy, when adversity is hitting, to bring that energy. And if you're over here and you just missed the layup, you just blew a layup, you're over there, God, I missed that layup. And your, mind's, your mind's over here. Then you see your boy come with that energy. You go, okay, okay, I'm in it, I'm with you, man, I feel you. And then over here at the center, he goes, all right, okay. And all of a sudden, we got five guys digging in for the common goal to get a stop. And there's power in that unity, there's power in that chemistry, and then the adversity, you, you fight through it. And that's what separates great teams, those who are able to do that and those who aren't. Is this making sense? Have you ever walked down? I know you guys probably live in some nice neighborhoods. Have you ever been down in the middle of Miami, Wenaskia Street, 2 a.m., all by yourself? You walk into the store. I hope that's never happened. I'm just painting a picture. You're walking down that street. Thugs out there. Trouble. You walk like this. Oh, man. I hope I get to the store. Got your hand on your phone. You almost probably put your coat in just in case you got a call. That call mom will quick call back because I'm a little nervous. But what happens when you walk down that same street, same time, same environment, but you got your seven best friends in the world with you? And three of them are big dudes. How do you walk? I walk like this. I'm going to look at some tough dudes like this. Why? Because I got my boys with me. What are you going to do to me? I got my boys and I trust them and they got my back. They ain't going to let them have to. Same thing on the floor, right? Same thing. You're out there guarding the best player in the camp today. Then you're out there on an island. It's just you and that guard. It's Kyrie. You're guarding Kyrie. About to shake you up. And you have no trust in your boys behind you. None. You're out there on an island. You're a little hesitant. But when you look back there and your four guys on the help side are going, I got you, boy. I got your back. I got help side. Man, I'm going to 
I'm guarding that dude. I'm getting up in his hip, and I'm working because I know my boys have my back. Does this make sense? So if you want to have a great team, you want to win a championship, develop the trust and the chemistry that you all have each other's back. And then no matter where you go, no matter who you play, even if they're better than you, even if they're better than you, you have no fear. We're going to man. We're going to lay it on the line, right? Let's do it this week. Let's be better. Great job. Hustle out there and get after this drill. Get better on three. One, two, three. Get better. Good job. Good job.